Hello boys and welcome back. Today we are going to learn techniques about reading QDistinct parameters given from the URL. So we as a developer are habitual of passing parameters through the URL and reading them on to the other pages. If we are in such a requirement in Blazor, then how we read parameters we are going to learn in this session. So let me first give you an overview of my application here. This is the simplest uh, app created through uh, Blazor server app template, the default application. And here is my index page. I have just placed an hyperlink over here that on which I will click. Uh, when I will click over here, I will land onto my page. Here it is listening to this route, my page. And here I have to read these parameters. Let me give, show you the running application. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe this channel to get my updated videos, latest videos on time on Blazor. So here we are, we have this link, okay, and when I click on this link, I have this parameters, these parameters inside my URL, and on this page, I have a task to read these parameters, A and B. Okay, let's head over to Visual Studio, and here we are. Now, this is a two-step process. In uh, legacy web applications, we were habitual to read the parameters using request.qt string, but here we don't have that option available. So to do that, first of all, the first thing first, let's inject a dependency at the right, uh, at the right, okay, at the right inject navigation manager I can nav that's it and uh, let's read this let's create a variable system dot uri uri okay and we'll first display the uri here uri dot uh oh at the red URI dot to string. Okay, now we will read the value of URI inside on initialized method. Okay, so to do that, let's write the code URI equals to nav dot to absolute URI. Mm, right and nav dot uri that's it so this is the first part till now we are getting the value of uri uh, let me show you the output okay now when i click on this link i have this the same URI available inside my variable. Now the next task is to extract the value for A and B parameter given to this URL. Okay, to do that, let's come into our code again and we need another class here. Let's include it to using web utilities we need web utilities for the helper okay that's it come back into our own initialized method and here if now we will have query helpers available Security URI the we have extracted in our previous session dot query dot try get value value of E 
and where should we get this value out we are eval hmm, that's it and there we go okay now uh, let's create parameters integer a integer b okay so a equals to if it is an integer we need to parse a well okay the same thing will repeat for the second parameter b b value and b value that's it we are done with this thing now uh, what we want with these variables let's the total is uh, the total is dollar uh, at the red c okay the total is c and what is c integer c okay now test our application here we click on this link we pass the parameters 3 and 5 now if i'm changing the values right from here 13 okay it's changing let me show you the code and one more thing i want to explain you over here that we are getting parameters from url uh, okay so this is the simplest code we need to inject a dependency navigation manager and we need to use a, a class web utilities for which resides inside microsoft asp.net core namespaces and through navigation manager we are able to get the uri and through the web utilities class we are able to make use of query helpers this due to this query helper we need to include this class over here okay this is simple and one more thing if i want to write a form over here i can for example this is not recommended in blazor applications the way i'm working right now but you can for first value name a the first value second value b okay and on the third line i'll just place and submit button that's it no let me show you one more thing that whether you click on this link or you submit the form in both ways your code will remain same for the uh, execution of your logic here if i write 25 and 5 and i click on submit button oh sorry i forgot to mention action over here action where should it go my page that's it now the same code will work on both mechanisms either you click on this link or you if you specify the values from your form okay 30 or if you go there and click on this link actually we are getting this these parameters from the url now as many parameters you want to read you can do it through the same mechanism that's it for this session thank you very much